back to my channel. So for today's makeup video, I have another neutral look yet again. This is just like, in my opinion, the perfect eye makeup look for any occasion, any season, any outfit. If you guys want to see how to create this look right here, keep on watching. So I'm going in with the Laneige Lip Mask in Candy. I'm so obsessed with this flavor because it is winter here in Australia my lips get super dry so I always like to start off glam with brows so I'm going in with the Huda Beauty brow pencil in rich brown so I just like to start off really lightly here and I first go in only where I'm lacking brow hairs you guys have heard me um, explain this a million times but I feel like no matter how many makeup tutorials I do that are similar, there are always new followers and always a ton of questions about steps in my routine. So I'm happy to show you guys a million times as long as you want to still watch my videos. So I just like to go along the bottom first. Also my brow hairs are like so long at the moment because I've been using um, the lash serums on my brows. and. The actual hairs have been going crazy, so I'm honestly not mad about it. And then just really gently on the inner corner, I just do little hair like strokes. So the brow pencil that I went in with is quite dark, so I like to go in with the Huda Beauty Bum Brows in light brown. And this is obviously a lighter shade. and. I don't know if you can really see but it just really softens the color and gives the brows a beautiful natural look it also kind of doubles as like a brow gel so I'm going in with my NARS concealer and custard and my jar CC2 brush and carving out my brows is a must So I use this pretty much every time I do my makeup, the Wishful Thirst Trap Juice. If you feel like adding both a cream or a moisturizer and primer is too heavy, I would definitely try this. Just to still hydrate your skin but to leave it feeling nice and light. And then my favorite primer, the NYX Marshmallow. By the way, I've had this since it launched. I don't know when that was. But I use it every time I do my makeup or almost every time I do my makeup and it still feels really full like I don't know how much product comes in this. You get a lot. So I'm going to pop on my Bobbi Brown light to medium peach corrector. For foundation I'm going in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in shade 6.5. Also, I feel like one thing I've noticed about more high-end foundations is that they don't really look like much when you put them straight on the face, but once you layer your concealer, you know, your contouring products, any cream products, and then powder, it looks amazing. Taking my Hourglass Concealer in Cedar, and I'm going to focus it along the sides, a little bit here. And then just a little lift here, here, there. And then any excess on my sponge is what I'm going to use to act as my eyelid base. And that's honestly all you need for an eyelid primer. You guys know me, I've never been one to go for eyeshadow primers and I stand by the fact that concealer and foundation is the best. So I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Tantor in Light. And then I'm just going in with a bigger brush for my cheekbones. This is actually a shade lighter than what I usually use but I need to restock it. Oh, actually that doesn't look too light at all. And then what I've been doing lately is adding a bit of extra contour lower and that goes against honestly 
like everything that I've ever preached. Uh, when you see these little tips on TikTok and try them, sometimes they're actually good. Sometimes they're terrible, but very rarely they actually do wonders for the makeup game. So because the contour that I just used was super cool toned, I'm going to go in with the Chanel in medium, the Celil. Celil? I don't even know how to say this. Medium tan bronze. Um, and this is a lot warmer, so this is going to warm up my face. Before I go in and set, I'm going to add, this applicator always freaks me out. I'm going to add some of my Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, you know what? That's definitely way too much. This stuff is very pigmented and nobody needs a forehead. Oh, not shiny, but apparently, oh, this is going to be one shiny ass forehead. Okay, not too bad. And I personally recommend going in with this product before powder. And then I'm going in with the Huda Beauty powder in Cherry Blossom. So I'm popping that directly under the eye, on the sides of my nose, and then dragging it down the smile lines. And that's really the only place you want to be popping a brightening powder. And then Everywhere else around your face is perfect for just a normal setting powder that isn't brightening. And then for the rest of my face, the Charlotte Tilbury in number two. So I'm going in with the Natasha Denona Bieber palette. And I'm going to do a little bit more of an all over smoky eye today. So I'm going in with... Freckle first, and this brush is from Inglot, the 6 And I'm using the shade Freckle just all over the lid and blending it through. So this is a very simple eye, so if you want to just do something where it's like minimal effort but you get full glam, this is the way to go. So there's no like cut creasing involved or anything like that, it's just going in with one transition shade all over and then darker shade on the lid. Taking a little bit of powder and blending out over the top just to make sure it remains nice and bright up here. I'm taking the shade Prairie as well, I'll show you guys. Much better. And then I'm taking the shade Coco right in the middle and I'm going to blend it with a little bit of freckle just so it's not too dark. And I'm going to start at the lash line and blend my way up just to where my crease starts or stops. So I'm going in with the Benefit Roller Liner and we're going to do a little halfway. Everybody's eye shape is different. So for this type of eyeliner, just really look in the mirror at your own eye shape and figure out what a good halfway point is. Um, and you can just avoid this little inner section um, and after we've got the wing I just like to press um, on the waterline so the lash band doesn't show and it is honestly the best way to do eyeliner. You don't want to go too thick from this section and you want to wait until you've reached <sighs> I literally hold my breath on um, the outer corner Ideally, this is not as thick as I would go, but it does still look cute. So I'm just going to connect the line. And to do that, I'm... Oh, this is like really hard. I'm going on top of my lashes, but keeping it super, super close. Just like that. Do you see how thin that line is? And if you're not wearing lashes, you could skip this. So I'm just going to press away the translucent powder or the Huda Beauty powder. I'm just going to go in with the MAC Bronzer in Refined Golden. And I'm using the Morphe and Jaclyn JH05 brush. I'm 
And I'm basically just going over everywhere that I cream bronzed. Because when you add all of the translucent powders, it kind of just eats up everything. And I'm just running some powder down the bridge of my nose and it's going to give the most amazing reverse contour so it'll accentuate the central point so before mascara and blush I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of the Rare Beauty setting spray making my Dior blush Now I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going in with my favourite mascara, the Benefit They Are Real. This look would obviously look really cute with just a mascara if that's the vibe you're going for. I'm going to pop on a lash off camera and I'll be right back to do the lips. Okay, lashes are on, so I'm taking a little tiny bit of Coco and Freckle from the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm just running it super close along the lash line to darken it up. Nothing too crazy, because I don't want it to look like a super smoky eye. But it just gets rid of that bare look without being too much. And I'm taking the same mascara. I don't know why I feel like squinting makes bottom mascara look a million times better. Apologies in advance for this, but I'm going in with the KKW Nude 2 Ooh, lip liner. So for my lip combo, I'm feeling a little bit more of a pinky vibe. So I am mixing together the Dior Lip Glow in 01 with my liquid lipstick in Angel Baby. These are on clear out on my website on clearance because we are making way for the new products if you guys haven't heard me mention it. If you want to get the last of these lipsticks in this current logo branding, get in because they're going to be off the website for a while. I'm going to take a little bit of the Dior Lip Glow first just to hydrate my lips. And then I'm going straight over top with Angel Baby which is a little bit more of a dusty pink nude. I love this lip combo for an all round just feminine pretty lip. So if you're not into the super matte lips, adding a lip balm underneath is going to save the day because it's not going to feel super matte, but it's still going to look matte, but it feels really comfortable. Um, I mean, you don't need it. You can wear the liquid lips without it, but I know that, you know, the more dewy lips are trending. You can even go back over the top to make sure you're getting that color and coverage. But if you're bothered by the fact that it's matte, which I'm obviously not, you can go in with a nice generous amount of lip balm. Um, I just love the lip glows because they have a little pink tint. Okay guys, so that is it for today's makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, everything I have used will be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.